Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on, folks? This is your boy here, the Yankee Mad Dog Messiah here with you, of course, your personification of greatness and, of course, Mr. 20K. <laughs> Gonna have to get used to saying that. It is Wednesday, September 6, 2023, and, um, yeah, let's talk some, uh, baseball here. So, we're on the street yesterday that, um, the Yankee Utes, as Michael K wants to call them now, um, the reason that these kids got called up was due to the release of older veterans, and it was ordered by Hal Steinbrenner against the wishes of Brian Cashman and the analytics team. And if this is indeed true, Brian Cashman's job may actually be in jeopardy here. Despite the fact that these reports are coming out that, yeah, he's going to come back for 2024. Because... Brian Cashman and the analytics team, they kept telling Aaron Boone that he was better off with the likes of Aaron Hicks, Willie Calhoun, Jake Bowers, Billy McKinley, and Franchi Cordero. But we had guys down in the minors, Jason Dominguez, Austin Wells, Oswald Peraza, and Everson Pereira. And so far, Hal Steinbrenner has been correct in demanding the change of direction because you look at the Yankees in their last eight games. This team is 7-1. and one, And they're 4-0. and oh, since Jason Dominguez was called up. Not to mention Austin Wells. Because Jason Dominguez right now is batting third in the lineup. And there's no denying that the energy and the effort that it has brought out. Excuse me, and I do apologize if you hear that. That's my iPhone. Um... But as I was saying, the energy and the effort it has brought out when it comes to the veterans on this team watching the youth movement in action. Uh, there's a different vibe and energy to the Yankees right now. This lineup, and let's talk about the lineup, the opening day lineup went from one of the oldest in Major League Baseball to one of the youngest. Giancarlo Stanton can't even run in this newly constructed lineup. But they still need more left-handed bats. And I know Jason Dominguez is a switch hitter and Austin Wells is swinging from the left side. Unless Oswaldo Cabrera is playing switch. You would like to have at least four to five left-handed bats. Particularly in Yankee Stadium. Because what is the advantage for these uh, left-handed hitters? It's the freaking short porch down at right field. Now... Let me get into this uh, Anthony Rizzo uh, topic quick here because um, it was reported yesterday that Anthony Rizzo uh, is done for the year. And I knew that this was coming because the key for the Yankees is to tell the fans through the media when the time was right. And. 
when the Yankees were locked in, like they were going to win the World Series, the timing was perfect. And the plan revealed to the fans that Anthony Rizzo isn't coming back this season. But do it when the team looks really, really good. And this is going to soften the blow. And maybe the media isn't going to blow it up. Well, hair is different. And here's the thing. It makes sense to not play Rizzo the rest of the season. Because the Yankees are playing for nothing. All the Yankees are doing now is showcasting the Yankee Utes. Because you want to sell some merchandise for the rest of the season. You want to put asses in the seats at Yankee Stadium. And bringing back Rizzo this year would have been important if the Yanks were playing for something. And these kids... If these kids weren't raking. But they are. So let Rizzo rest. Rizzo will be back in 2024. And it also allows DJ LeMahieu the opportunity to play first. And give Oswald Peraza a month long audition to prove that he can hit. At the big league level. And the Yankees. They would still like to add one more bat. That's left handed. To the lineup for next season. They have three more potential left handed bats. Coming through the system. That could be in the Bronx next season. Spencer Jones. He's in double A Somerset. People have said, and I said it here too, he's the left-handed version of Aaron Judge. Very athletic, and he can play any outfield position. You got a ninth-ranked prospect, Trey Sweeney, currently a shortstop. He bats from the left side of the plate. He's probably going to be a third baseman, Sooner rather than later because of the fact that you got limited range and the Yankees, um, they have shortstop options. Another left-handed bat that's on the radar. It's not far off. Ben Rice. He's a catcher first baseman. And he has exploded on the scene this season. Batted 324 across three levels of the minor leagues with 18 homers. And then when you're looking at the um, free agent market, we already talked about Shohei Atani. But, you know, he's going to be a DH. And I know the fact that he's going to have elbow surgery at the end of the season. And then you got Cody Bellinger. Who. Um, is a left handed bat. And with Stanton on the contract for four more years. And has that full no trade clause. This is why you know Otani. Doesn't fit for the Yankees. Bellinger, meanwhile, is having a resurgent year with the Cubs. He's going to be a free agent. He's going to get big money out of this. So, if the Yankees continue a strong push with the youth movement, playing a huge part of it, Hal Steinbrenner may have to Revaluate the decisions that Brian Cashman and the analytics team have done. Because we've heard all year how the minor league system had no talent. 
And you were hearing that from other organizations. Because other organizations, they were destroying the team's talent and chemistry. If Hal Steinbrenner had injected earlier, maybe Esteban Floreal, who stuck in the minor leagues because of the analytics, could have been the left fielder this year. Instead of all of these bum players that were playing that position. I've already mentioned their names. Sure, he may not have became a star. But obviously, he would have been better because he is a defensive outfielder. Than all of the players that I mentioned. Him hitting 279 would rank highest on the Yankees. His 25 homers would be second. His 72 rippies would be first. And I understand that AAA stats are not the majors. But 54 major league at bats over four years is hardly a real opportunity to judge talent. Had they done the same with Aaron Judge, he would have been gone after striking out 42 of his 84 at-bats when he got called up in 2016. So maybe we should be appreciating Hal Steinbrenner for these call-ups. Because the Yankees will be better for it. It's pretty much what I gotta say, guys. Um, until then... Yankee Mad Dog Messiah, I'm out. See you guys later. Peace!